To quote David Goldstein's 2011 New York TED Talk, there are two heads inside one person when you think about it. Everyone has a present and future self guiding their actions. Their present self is dictating the actions in the here and now, while their future self is actively encouraging the present self to make choices that will benefit it when it's their turn to pilot. While David's original idea of the two selves was focused on investments, the same mindset can be traced back to the sign of going to college is worth it for everyone. Many people after graduating high school are bombarded with various life opportunities that can be confusing and hard to navigate. One of the biggest choices someone can make after high school is deciding to seek further education or not. Think back to when you originally decided to go to college. Was there something that college offered that was useful to your future? As a college student myself, I, w I wondered if college was the best course for me. And for the past couple weeks, I've been researching David's concept of the present self, determining the outcome of its future self, and applying that to go over the idea of college is worth it for everyone. David Goldstein's 2011 speech focused on the use of various tools and commitment devices, as well as the different values of an individual's current and future self. The values of these selves in David's words are, the present self does not want to save at all, it wants to consume, whereas the future self wants the present self to save. A person's present self isn't benefited by saving money and sacrificing pleasures. That reward comes once the present self becomes the future self. But stopping one's present self is hard, as, again in David's words, let's face it, the present self is it's present, it's in control, and the future self it's, is not even around, it's off in the future. Because of this, David suggested a, a few ways to help individuals prepare for their future self. He suggested a mix of commitment devices to help level the playing field, and exercising self-discipline to meet your commitment goals. To appeal to his audience of young adults, he gave a few visual examples that would make sense to them. In one example, he brought up these statistics over the past few years, in which he noted that as individuals began saving less and less, at that same rate, more people were reaching the retirement age and not being able to retire. David's solution to this was to find the right balance between investing in the present self and saving for the future self. And now that I've gone over David's original speech, I will now go over how the present and future self apply to college students. There's no denying that one day our present self will become our future day selves. That truth hasn't changed since 2011, and neither has the rise in retirement risks. Many more people in 2021 are not being able to acquire, not being able to retire. And so as we as college students, we need to decide what path to take and do that quick to give us a better example of having a better future self. And with that in mind, is it worth it to go to college or are other options suitable? Both of us have the strengths and weaknesses that apply to our present and future self. Going to college can open up many more job opportunities that can pay more than average jobs. But going to college is a huge investment of time and money up front that can lead to large amounts of debt and lost time if a student drops it after some time. And while attending college, one is limited in the amount of money that they can earn during those years. In contrast, not going to college spares you from the immediate and long-term debts that accumulate year after year after college. An alternative to going to college would be to go straight into an apprenticeship where potential for income can rival those of college degrees. And although those, there are good paying jobs that don't require college degrees, those fields are much more limited than the jobs that become available with college degrees. So, I encourage you to reflect on your goals and dreams for the future, whatever those may be, and be committed to take the steps necessary to accomplish them. This speech was focused on David's 2011 speech, and utilized his ideas of the difference between present and future self in terms of savings, and shifted it into deciding if a good future self can be attained with, with or without college. And figuring that out for ourselves is hard. To quote philosopher Derek Parfit, whom David referenced in his speech, we might neglect our future selves because of some failure, belief, or imagination. That's why I want to encourage you to put in some time and think about what you want to do now in the future. Figure that out to the best you can, and decide if the skills and jobs needed for that for your goals can be achieved through college or by any other means, and choose the best path for you. College may not be for everyone, but whatever is whatever path you decide to take, it must be taken and pursued quickly to ensure the best chance for your present and future selves. Thank you all.